Hey YouTube, this is Freedom Prime here. Um, I'm going to be doing this tutorial on how to make your own animations in RPG Maker VX Ace. Uh, I was messing around with it and I was bored, so I decided I might as well record it while I'm doing it. Um, so far this is what I just made. So, you know, yeah, I was just messing around. I got some new tile sets, so I wanted to try something new. Um, this this is like super easy. I've, I really haven't seen many videos where people show how to actually make the animations but I hear people all the time saying how do you actually make them and what you do is you this is how you do it you go to Chang's maximum I don't know why there isn't a button to just you know add new but this is how you add a new slot this is where you name it and from here this is where you pick what tiles you want to use um, these are the ones that came with the game uh, so they're kind of there's some cool ones in there um, these are some ones that I downloaded or you don't need to download they're just images that you just save from the internet so uh, so what I did as you can see from my last one what I did is I took this tile set which is these images which would be this right here and then I added a second one which was this ice thing so I took this which was blue so it kinda reminded me of ice and then I added this which does that and these are the sound effects I'll show you how to do all that in a second, but here let's let's make a let's make a new animation. I don't know what I want to do though, that's the problem. Do we want to do like a fire, a basic attack? We could do a lightning attack. Uh, hmm. Alright, alright, let's do this. We'll do fire, and we'll do lightning. All right. So pretty much, what the first thing you have to do is figure out how many frames you want to make it, um, based on how many frames are in the animation. So I'm, I'm not gonna count them because I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna go with 20. And then this is each and in, in, each individual frame. So essentially, what you do is this is frame one. Take this, drag it. And you set it wherever you want. I'm going to put it a little bit off to here. Next frame. Drop the new one, but drop it directly above where this one was. Now, you can get really complicated with this. Like, say you could start with this, then this, then this, and the first three frames. And then on the next frame, you could start a whole new one over here while still continuing this one. So it'll be like, it'll, one will start here, and then a few seconds later, next one will start, and the next one will start. So it'll be a series of attacks, but I'm just going to show you how to do the basics. I've done a few of those really complicated ones, and I've had like 60 second animations that were fucking awesome looking, but... Unfortunately, I had to reinstall Windows, and I didn't back up, so I lost all that stuff. But that's alright, I can do it all over again. So, I'm going to go to each individual frame, each individual frame, and we're going to lay these on top of each other. Okay, so 11 is going to be the last frame for this. So we can hit play to see what it looks like. Looks like that. Yeah, it is a little off to the side, but it, de it depends on what creature you um, like here. I can choose a different creature to show you what it looks like. I got a whole bunch of like different samurais and stuff I just downloaded. I was thinking about making a samurai game, but haven't decided yet. But here let's I think that looks pretty cool. Let's pick something that looks awesome. Hmm. That guy looks cool. Let's choose the captain. Um alright. Uh, he's not as big as I thought he was gonna be, but that's okay. Okay, so now we got that down. We got the fire. Uh, what I like to do is put a little gap. Uh, like a three frame gap. Start at 15. And then we'll put this over here. And then we'll start the lightning attack. This is super simple, but I've, I've seen many people on the interwebs. They were lost beyond belief. They're like, how do you do this? So 
This is for you. Or if you're just bored and want to watch something strange, then by all means. So I'm, um, I didn't make enough frames, so you can just add more. It doesn't mess up your, your progress or anything, so it's totally fine. That's why I didn't bother counting in the beginning because it's not that big of a deal. This is so exciting. And let's, let's add one more, so it's gonna be twenty-five. All right, well, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. So fire comes in, then the lightning. Now what we have to do is find sound effects that fit appropriately to what the is going on on the screen. So, from, so you go here, and this is where the sound will start. Obviously, you want to start at frame one. I don't know why. It, start at 11 it's pretty weird and we have tons of sounds I haven't downloaded new sounds yet because I just haven't had time but let's see let's <coughs> nah <coughs> nope <coughs> hmm this is probably the most time-consuming part is finding what sounds good <coughs> hmm yeah that's a I don't think that's what we need here. Let's. Oh. Oh, no, not ice. I, th I thought I just saw fire. Yeah, okay, let's see the fire. Oh, see? Eh. Uh. <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, to be honest with you. Yeah, first one is definitely the best one. Now from here, you do flash. You can make the screen flash. Now I only use that for when like you know giant explosion. Um, this makes the target flash like you whatever you're attacking. So it does that when it gets it. Now see the second part gonna go. So what? From here we need to figure out where. Okay, so it starts at 15. So we go to 15. Now let's go to let's see if there's lightning. It's gotta be lightning. Maybe it's under electricity. Of course not. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't have lightning. What the fuck? Maybe it's paralyzed. It. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound right. I don't. I can't tell if you guys can um, hear these sound effects. That would be awful. Oh, it's under thunder. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's use that. All right. Here, I'll show you what the screen does when you when you do that. See, it makes it go white, and it's gonna last for five seconds, and that's gonna be too long. So let's do like three frames. Yeah, and the reason why the screen's white right now when the animation's over is because this. So. I'm gonna actually go back and change that because I don't like that whole I'm making the screen. All right. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, it's it's pretty easy, but you can you can come up with some crazy crazy animations like uh, check this out. You know, I mean, that's two tile sets. That's this. And this long ass. <laughs> that one's long. <clears throat> Let's see here. Check this one out. See, a lot of them, what they do is they take this animation, which is just, I don't know what it is, some like lightning ball. Um, and then they throw in this at the end. And you can make your own tile sets, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's. <laughs> That's going to be in a different video. I can show you how to take different tiles and combine them to make one long tile set so you can do more. But um, that's a little bit more involved, so I just wanted to show you how to do this. I mean, for for RPG Maker standards, this is pretty This is pretty good. I really like this RPG Maker. It's a lot better than the older ones I used to play. Um, I think I could actually make a decent game, finally. <laughs> 
be a um That's the one I made earlier, I called it Icy Hill, and then this one Let's name it. Uh Fire and Thunder. Fire and Lightning, whatever you want to call it. You can name it fucking ass rape, whatever you whatever you want to name it. Um, and that's it, and then you I can, you can't see it, but you go to save, and, and there you go. All right, well, thank you for watching, and this was a tutorial for RPG Maker VX Ace. All right, and this is Freedom Prime. See you later.